Hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Freeland coming at you on the 22nd of June here, 2022. I want to show you guys something here um, that almost can guarantee you make money um, trading Forex. And then three indicators that I use to help set this up that keeps you in the win. All right, so this chart that you're seeing right now, if you look right here, these two lines here, it was 2 o'clock a.m. this morning. Okay, I set up what I call the 2 o'clock candle this morning. And the magic of this is that you don't trade until it comes out either up or down uh, of this space. You do not trade within this space. Okay, so as you see, this candle right here uh, bust out this one here bust out and that gave me the key to know that on the next candle i could go ahead and trade and so all these green candles i would have won with this candle in the red candle form that would have come out and as you can see it started coming back down now if you're really really sharp you could have come right out of this waited for a flat top and come on back down but you would have to be cautious because this could hit and go back up or it could have went straight through and because of what the market is, or was at this particular time, it did break through, but it didn't give anything. So you probably would have lost here. This is why we don't trade anything in here. You wait until it closed outside. Then as you can see, it consolidated and played in here. And then it broke down. Then here's another series of consolidation, as you can see. And then it dropped again. Okay, all the way here. Now, remember, this is the 2 o'clock uh, candle strategy but I also drew trend lines as you can see as the day progressed now this is also a five minute candle so these candles was every five minutes as you can see I drew a trend line all the way down here and you can see here's one two three four touches there all right and I also as you can see here is consolidation big consolidation all right I had a line up here initially when I started, but as the day moved on and things kept growing, I you know I just made several shifts. But you can pretty much see, as you also notice at the bottom here, here's your uh, support line. Here was a resistant line, okay, and here's more consolidation. So guys, when this came down, um, I've literally was just watched all of this, watched all of this. Okay, until I put these two here and then I could see where it was going up and down. And if I wanted to get in, you could take, you know, the opportunity to get in and get a few pips and get out. Uh, but then keep in mind, you're always watching these other lines as you move them along. Okay, because you would get in here for a buy. You kind of want to jump out because you don't know if it's going to break through or not. Just based on the support here. Or the resistance, I'm sorry, here. And as you can see, it came back down, went right into this uh, particular support and resistance, played in here, which we wouldn't have did. And then it came up and broke through, broke through everything to where we are now. As you can see, this line here was another line that I put just because stuff is moving. You know, I'm moving along with the chart. And it, it went on and broke up through there, so there's more... Uh, pips you could have got if you're going up and then as you can see it broke and right now live it's on its way back down now the cool part about this is yes I was drawing all of these support and resistant lines trend lines and things and once you get really really familiar you can monitor and move along with the charts and you can get in and get out get in and get out when this it's real familiar to you. You can get in and get out with success. However, a big deal that I have to help me with this is these three indicators right here. These are three amazing indicators. Okay, this first indicator right here, the longest one, this is nothing but shows breakouts. Okay, and these breakouts are really uh, right in line or parallel to what I showed you here. If I could actually, let's see if I can move this 
shorten this a little bit so you could kind of see it. These breakouts are pretty much different breakouts right where we were showing all the way up. So even while I'm drawing this, guys, I can watch and I can get pips based on these breakouts. And as you can see, you get arrows when it's telling you the breakout is coming. You also get a notification uh, when the breakouts are coming. Now, these notifications right here is because in the background here, um, I'm actually doing uh, binary option trading. But as long as all of these are on, then you get indicated notifications for all of them. And when this one comes up, it came out like this, USD JP, JPY um, breakout sell. Okay. So this is, as you can see, it, it's pretty much itself. And it's going, these are all five minutes. So I could just play along and continue if I wanted to for the whole day or until I reach my goal. Now, this breakout indicator is, I'd use this if I want to catch pips in the breakouts along with watching everything else. Now, this indicator here is also uh, on USDJPY. I love this indicator because it helps, like I said, with the breakouts, if you will. It'll tell you where you can get in and sell, and you can collect, and where you can get in and buy. Okay? This is just a visual for me if I want to jump in. It's another confirmation, plain and simple. And as you can see, it went all the way up. As everything is going up, showing you where to get in. All right? And then, as you can see, it, it uh, starts down so you could come out if you want. Now, this indicator here, I, lo I love all three of these, but this indicator here is the sweet spot, as I call it. This just shows you the trend, the trends, guys. All the way up, all the way down, when it changes, when it changes, when it changes. And as you can see, it came down when it changes. Um, and then it showed when it went up here and now it's showing right in here um, where it comes down now the cool part about this is the way that I actually work with this indicator is if it's going up and it's blue I only go for buys even though within it as you can see here you have buys and sells but I know ultimately until this turns into red and start coming back down everything that I do is going with the market going with the trend okay going with the trend then when it changes over and it lets me know that it's a sell and it's going to be a sell for a while i could close out i could come back in for the sell okay if if i haven't met my quota or if i want more okay and then as you can see it's still in a sell color it's still in red even though it's going up because it's it's moving in that direction and then when it's the confirmation comes to buy again it goes all the way up that right there is about the equivalent of right here okay the equivalent of right here all right so I use this particular indicator as a marker as to which way the market is going okay and then I could play around even if it's going up because this is still saying it's in a sell market you know um, uh, I just go ahead on with this or well, it's in a bearish market I should say I just go right on with it until it changes again until it gives me a clear change now as you can see right now it's in consolidation pretty much here um, I could go back to my chart here and I could do a line here as you can see I could shift these because I could actually either shift or add and start here again because this is a support line right here we could do it that way
Don't know what happened there, guys, but we could either do it that way or we could shift and add new lines. But these three indicators, guys, right here are awesome when in combination. They're great on their own, but when I combined all three, um, it gives me the better results. So what am I doing, guys? I'm getting ready to put a package together where I'm going to be um, selling these indicators. I don't know what the price is going to be yet. Um, but I'm going to be selling these three indicators and you could literally just go back in this video and watch and see how to set these up. They work for in the same format. They work for both binary trading and regular currency Forex trading. Okay. Um, I don't know what the cost is going to be yet. Uh, I'll try to figure that out. But I mean, when you look at what I just showed you and all three indicators are helping you. Um, it's pretty much a win-win situation, a win-win deal. I mean, you you can mark up your chart, uh, you know, your trading view chart, and watch everything flow right with your markers. And what I did initially, before I even looked at the, the indicators, I marked up this probably, yeah, right around from here, right around uh, the 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning before I actually went and looked at these. And even without looking at them, when I pulled them up, they were following suit. Everything was following suit. So it's all in unison. It's all coordinated. But like I said, all three of these indicators, plus you mark, marking up from what you know, um, it's a win, win, win. All right. So just wanted to show you this video real quick. Um, I'll be coming back with using these indicators to show you how we'll do it with binary options. And for those of you guys that have been asking me about funds and the other programs that I'm in, I'm in that's compounding. They're working great too. So we got a lot of stuff, man, to help you guys make some money. All right. So before I go, we do know that the uh, disclaimer is plain and simple. You know, trade at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor. Trade with the money you can afford to lose. Do not trade with expense money and all of those type of things, okay? So with that, this is Mike Freeland. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.